is the face of someone who got here before Uber does. Yeah, I can hear him coming. Oh, here we go. Who's <laughs> Look at this guy. I'm just going to be smug. All... You're smug. I'm just smug, life. Go. I've never looked, seen you look. I'm sorry. Uber, just say nice things to me at this point. I'm sorry. Whenever you're ready, go. You look lovely today, That's Julie. true. And I'm sorry for being late. Yeah, that's, yeah. It is early. More compliments? Um, um, how do I smell Uber? Like freshly cut grass on a summer's day. <laughs> you can sit down now. Right, enough tomfoolery. Let's get into it. Let's get into Do you actually use mysteries. the word tomfoolery just in regular life? Sometimes I say things just to see what your reaction is. Enough tomfoolery. OK, so we've got Hey Guys. Oh, it's a oh, we've two. we've got a couple. It's huh. Cole and Abby here from Dumfries in Bonnie, Scotland. During lockdown, we started making silly videos for TikTok. They really took off, and now we've got over 500,000 followers. Wow. We've always been well known in our local area because we own the barber shop, but this is next level. Sadly, we got a lot of trolls. And one particular account keeps sending us gifts, which sounds nice, but we've no idea who's sending them. And the gifts are really weird and personal. They always come with a message saying, I will always win, that's, which is really creepy. That's so weird. It's really worrying us and affecting our relationship, and we are desperate to get to the bottom of it. Please help us, Cole and Abby. This is a next level of catfish that I don't even know how to get my head around this. Mm. When it started, there was catfishes who were people that were changing their identity because they wanted to fall in love. Yeah. Now, fast forward to 2021, you've got catfishes who want to send people gifts with weird messages. It's obviously working, right. whatever the catfish is trying to do. I have so many questions. <laughs> well, good, let's call them. OK. OK, here they are. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. How's it going? Not great, to be honest. We could do with your help. Guys, please, can you just tell us what's going on? Yeah, well, we've been posting videos for a while now on our social media platforms, and we've grown such a, a good, strong fan base. But recently, we've been getting, like, really creepy gifts from an anonymous fan page. So tell us about the gifts. To be honest, we've actually lost count. There's been so many recently, including big bunches of flowers, balloons. Hoodies with their faces on it. Yeah, pictures with our wedding day. Right. Which might seem nice, but actually when it's coming to your home address with a note saying I will always win, it's not a nice feeling. Yeah. We've got no idea who's sending any of these gifts. They are literally leaving us with no trail. The whole thing's starting to freak me out so much so that it's it's taken a toll on our marriage. Mm. I'm on the edge all the time. I'm literally at breaking point. Wow. Social media actually brought us closer together as a couple and made our relationship stronger. But I've got to the point that I'm seriously thinking, would it be the best thing to come off social media and knowing that that could just stop all of this and get my wife back and get our relationship back to where it should be. You shouldn't have to deal with it. Like, it doesn't, just because you guys are making things, doesn't, you know, you're making people happy as well, and you shouldn't have to deal with this stuff. I've set up cameras right around my house, and that's just not me as a person, but that's how paranoid I've become. <sighs> this is a continuous battle for us. I'm not sure how much more we can take of this. You guys are having issues and arguments. It should never have got that far, and I, I really want us to be able to put a stop to it. I just feel like we've got no escape from this anymore, and we really need your help. We definitely want to help really with you. Do, yeah. And yeah, we can help. We can help. I guess what Uber's trying to say is, we're coming to Scotland. We'll be there soon. Thank you so much, guys. We can't wait to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. See ya. I feel like on a normal day, we catch catfish. I feel like this time we're catching catfishes mm. and we're also potentially, hopefully, going to save a marriage. That's an immense amount of pressure. Is it? Do you, do your shoulders feel heavy? Yeah, it's just starting to feel well, a bit we've tense. Got... So we have to go to Scotland. Who's got my kill? Who's got my. Nothing. Well, let's go, let's go, we're going to Scotland. Come on then.